Yeah, you mentioned that um, uh, that the documents from Attica were being read by South Vietnamese prisoners or by Vietnamese prisoners in the South Vietnam government's prison, which I, I did not know. That's extraordinary. Yeah, so there's this really interesting figure. You mentioned um, the Phoenix program. There's this yeah. really interesting figure uh, named Donald Bordenkircher, uh, mm-hmm. who... Um, Crazy name. <laughs> who, who uh, you know, came up in the ranks as a, a prison guard in San Quentin. San Quentin is, is where Eldridge Cleaver had been incarcerated yeah. and where um, George Jackson had mm-hmm. been incarcerated. And, uh, George Jackson, for your listeners who might not know, is, is maybe the key theorist of the prison as Revolutionary War. He wrote uh, two books Solid Dad Brother and, and Blood in My Eye is really a, a, a very powerful work of, of revolutionary theory that folks should, should read if, if they're interested in it. Borden Kircher came up through California. Um, he rose up in the ranks. And then in 1967, he was tapped by the Office of Public Safety, which uh, was essentially a cover for the CIA to yeah. be a technical advisor Um, for the directorate of uh, the South Vietnamese prison system. And so from 1967 to 1971, he was in South Vietnam uh, helping to reform and um, refurbish the prison system to more effectively work as an instrument for neutralizing um, the the, the so-called Viet Cong. Um, and political prisoners and, you know, potential political prisoners. And in that context, you know, he's talking explicitly not about sort of rehabilitation, which often is a, a, a kind of euphemism for other forms of psychological warfare. Mm-hmm. He talks very clearly about the need to engage in psyops, um, mm-hmm. but, but, the, but the psyops that he engages in are you know, it's the same methods that are that he used in U.S. prisons, right? And this is the same person who uh, was responsible uh, for uh, the, a scandal that broke, I think it was in 1970 or maybe 1971, the so-called uh, Tiger Cages of Vietnam, where it was revealed that Vietnamese uh, men, women, and children who were incarcerated in the prison system there were, you know, um, being you know, tortured brutally, chained naked in yeah. underground pits and starved and just horrible. So this is Bordenkircher who did this. Mm. So he, he's in Vietnam. He, he's, he goes from San Quentin to Vietnam. He leaves Vietnam in 1971. He comes back to Washington, D.C. Uh, and works for a federal agency there. And his role there is not entirely clear. Um, I write in one of my articles about his relationship to Prizax, uh, which I know uh, you want to talk about, Brace. Um, but, but after, so, so then he becomes a warden in West Virginia, known for his brutality and violence. He becomes a warden in uh, Kentucky, known for his brutality and violence. Mm-hmm. But then much later, uh, he goes overseas again, this time to Iraq, where he is, uh, becomes placed in charge of Abu Ghraib after the, no tor- the, the sexual torture scandal breaks. He's the one who's brought in to sort of manage the fallout from that. So we see this, you know, circulation of these, these sort of counterinsurgency actors across different sites of yeah. conflict and different eras of conflict even. I mean, that's that's extraordinary because that I mean, I, I don't think I've had a clear example on this show of 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 this thing that we talk about where um, these sort of these sort of practices are refined on the frontiers, brought back home. And then it seems like exported once again to the frontiers mm. to be used against people. I mean, that right. is that guy that I mean, especially starting at San Quentin is yep. fucking crazy because so much of the stuff we're talking about centers around San Quentin. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think, yeah, and I think that there's this misconception um, that, that you know, the, the, the flow of counterinsurgency expertise, people often say, you know, it's tested overseas and mm-hmm. then it's brought home. 
I think it's 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 unidirectional. Yeah. Unidirectional? No. No. Or bi. It, bi it's bi-directional. Directional. Bi-directional. Wait, let's say this. It's yeah. dialectical. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it, it is. It is. Yeah. 